guys hi so i know i don't normally comment on like i don't know what you call it public stuff that's happening um but i'm going through so much right now so yesterday a friend of mine sent me a thing um that maverick city and dal tepo have parted ways and i was like oh what happened right then this morning i follow up again and i ask oh what happened then somebody somebody else sends me a thing um, so I go to the post and then I see a comment from Rita Springer and Rita Springer has written there, um, Dante, you know, like we're rallying around you, take all the time you need, uh, we're here for you, we got you, because you deserve it, kid. Um, and I read that comment and it just, like, I don't know, bro, it, I think it broke something the right way in me, you know, these, um, I think sometimes we don't realize we are caught up in the... Um, accusational turn of the enemy you know what I mean especially within the church um, as brothers and sisters within the family um, to a point where we engage it without realizing that that's our default so um, and the way that played out for me was you know I was like oh what happened you know I obviously want to know um, and the reason why this was so pertinent for me today uh, this morning, I was talking to uh, Rachel about um, some people, you know, like we were talking and we were laughing and I just commented on some of the things that have happened over the past um, few days. And my mom walked in and she was like, hey, Katie, stop gossiping. And I was like, no, this is not gossiping. Um, you know, like the word gossip, I think, has been very <laughs> uh, sensitive for me uh, because it's something Holy Spirit and I have really been um, working on, you know, like this whole don't disguise gossip don't put gossip under the disguise of a prayer request but that's a whole nother story anyway so um so she walks in and she's like oh don't gossip and i'm like no we're not gossiping we're just talking you know like everything that i'm saying to rachel i've anyway said to um this person you know and all this stuff whatever and she said yes it might not be gossip but it's not kind um sure and i mean i I mean, that probably took about an hour and a half of my morning, hey, because suddenly my heart was just so aware of, like, the yuck. Um, and then I started thinking, how many um, how many thoughts do I have? Not just thoughts do I have, but how many conversations do I have where I'm talking around about or engaging with people themselves? And yes, it might not be gossip, but it's not kind. Um, I just... Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm chewing on it and I'm, you know, I'm going through some things here. So I thought, let's go through some things together. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, and, and I think it's it's amazing because when something like this comes out, like now, you know, everybody's like, oh, what happened to Dante Bo? Um, and everybody wants to know so that they can give their comment again because our opinion matters. Um, but I really just wonder how different we would treat each other as brothers and sisters if when something happens um and something unfavorable happens right if we actually like Rita said like we rally around each other um i there was a sermon that i uh, that that they preached at church a few weeks ago uh jehovah nisi our banner you know like just running into you know like god rallying around us and um, what it means for God to be our banner, which was brilliant, by the way. And um, when I read that comment from Rita Spring, I think that's where my mind went. Like, oh, this is what the Lord our banner means. You know what I mean? Like, and and if we rally around each other in moments of missteps and mishaps, then um, how different would the response be? Or even just the approach, right, of a brother or sister B to come and say, hey, man, to actually want to confess our sins to one another because in that they actually do find healing. They don't find guilt or shame or condemnation. Um, and I think the last thing that I want to say about that is I really appreciate, obviously this is happening on the back of um, the service with Matt Chandler and, you know, and even there, like, when I read the article, I, my heart was broken and then I watched the service and I was like, this article is talking nonsense. You know what I mean? Um, but um, the one thing that I do want to say is I really do appreciate how 
Um, if I can say like Mav City, you know, how they framed it because they are, they're saying, look, he's still a brother in Christ. He's still, there's professionally, we have to separate because there are inconsistencies. And, you know, even that might just be hype, right? Um, but uh, regardless, uh, what, it, what, it, what it does do is it, it allows us the opportunity it allows us insight into the relationship to say hey man can you see here that there's been a difference um in whatever it might be um but we don't want to discard the person there is still relationship there there is still but there is a journey that we require of them to to walk and um yeah i keep saying the last thing but um this whole thing happened after I saw. So Michael Miller, he actually posted it. Uh, well, he shared the post and I went and I read the whole post. And it was such a brilliant post where this guy was saying, we have to look at what it is we actually worship. Are we worshiping, um, are we worshiping worship or are we worshiping Jesus, right? Because if we're worshiping Jesus, then the character of the person that is leading the worship matters. And it matters more than the number of people they'll pull, the crowds they'll pull. So um, there's a lot going on in my head and kind of that I'm chewing, but I think so much of it has to do with me, right? And my response and the attitudes of my heart. And um, and I think I want to encourage us to do the same, you know, not just the looking at gossip, but looking at oh, what we're saying, like what we're saying, is it unto redemption? Is it unto Christ? Is it unto his glorification? Is it unto the sanctification process of our brothers and sisters? Is it kind? Like, can we focus more? Um, I think she wanted it. Um, you know, can we fo We need to focus more on um, the fruit of the Spirit than we do, fo than we tend to focus on the gifts of the Spirit. So, yeah. That's all I will say. Uh, have a good day, y'all.